12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. One of the things that I remember keenly was that Dad was aware in the 20s, mid-20s, that Goddard needed funding for some of his rocket work in New Mexico uh, and also in Massachusetts. So uh, Dad knew that Guggenheim had a lot of money, but Guggenheim didn't really know that much of who Eddie Aldrin was. So Eddie Aldrin went to Charles Lindbergh and, and said, look, this rocket guy, uh, uh, Goddard, needs some funding. Would you put in a good word uh, to, to Guggenheim? And so Goddard got his funding, and uh, and everybody thinks it was Lindbergh that did that. But it was really Dad um, <laughs> who uh, saw the need. Dad was an airplane guy. Uh, he wrote his thesis at MIT on spinning aircraft. He went to Clark, then... Um, uh, Worcester Polytech, then started at MIT. Somehow he became susceptible and, and went into the Coast Artillery, uh, transferred to the Signal Corps, which had airplanes, bootstrapped his way into uh, learning how to fly. Dad went back and finished his doctoral work at MIT, uh, I guess in the class of 2021, and then he, uh, his Air Corps assignment was as commandant of the Air Corps Engineering School in Dayton at McCook Field, which later became Wright Field and is now Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, and the engineering school that Dad was commandant of from 21 to 25 or so became the Air Force Institute of Technology. He felt he never got his due for what his efforts were in, in the Air Force. And so now his son comes along and it looks very promising. As a matter of fact, uh, one time I asked him uh, how it looked for my selection as an astronaut. He asked a few questions around Washington and said uh, to me, uh, well, I checked around, but it, it really doesn't look like you're still in the running, uh, but that's okay. You really didn't want to do that anyway. And I said, no, Dad, you're wrong. <laughs> I, I didn't want to get into bombers, and uh, and I really did want to get into the astronaut business. Uh, now, I don't know why, what his reasons were, but as he began to look into what the program was, he picked up uh, what he felt was a significant shortcoming as far as his son was concerned, and that was... They didn't have a rescue capability. We had the, the best redundancy we could possibly have, but there was no way to rescue somebody stranded on the moon. I didn't really want my career to be dependent upon how good a pilot I was. I felt I had more to offer by my, my academic, my brain work, my analysis, and uh, it, it turned out to be one of the better... Uh, uh, appraisals of myself. <laughs>